Hello everyone, I'm Em, welcome to Tech Block. Today we are going to be Kyo Andrew my setup ever so slightly more. I picked up a bunch of stuff from Amazon to pretty much help solve a couple of the issues and respond to a lot of your feedback that I received in the comment section in previous videos. A lot of you have told me that I've created a fire hazard in my room and to be honest, you're probably not wrong. It's not caught fire yet. Today we are going to be hopefully improving the setup ever so slightly by cable managing the corner of my room here which at the moment looks like a complete disaster and pretty much anything you see in this video that I'm going to be using to help cable manage and pretty much resolve a couple of the issues with my setup here or pretty much on my room in general anything you see in this video will be linked down below for your convenience that includes the cable boxes and pretty much my entire setup and any cable management accessories that I use in this video are linked down below for your convenience so with that said Let's start the video off. So first of all, I picked up these two cable management boxes that I'm going to be housing my power strips in. I've got the big version of the D-Line cable management box that I'm going to be using for my bigger power strip. And I've, got, and I've also got the smaller version of the cable management box that I'm going to be using for my smaller power strip. So these two items here are going to be essential for cable management as they're going to pretty much reduce a lot of the clutter and the disaster that is the corner of my room here. So these two are going to be very, very handy. I also picked up these magnetic cable clips that looked really cool and they proved to be pretty useful. They can fit a variety of different cable sizes and stuff, which is very nice. Chances are I'm going to be probably sticking this onto the back of one of my cable management boxes right here, which is going to really help cable manage my lightning cable as well as my micro USB cable. I also picked up some rubber cable clips. Not entirely sure if I'm going to be using these in this video as I don't think there's much use for them in cable managing like the corner of my room here. However, these are very useful to have around your setup and house in general to help cable manage some cables now and again. I also picked up some Velcro cable ties from Visual, one in white and one in black. These are both a 20 pack of Velcro cable ties. These are pretty much the best Velcro cable ties that you can buy. I've said a Velcro cable ties way too much in the past minute or so, but these are very, very good. Um, I wouldn't want to get any other cable tie out there other than the visual ones as these have never let me down. They're very strong. The Velcro is very good. So yeah, these are very useful, very good cable ties. I would highly recommend them. I've been using them for a couple years now and they have not let me down as I mentioned earlier. I do of course also have some plastic cable tie mounts that you can mount to the bottom of your desk and then run a plastic cable tie through them to pretty much help manage a couple cables. However, these are kind of like an old method of doing things, I suppose. The problem with plastic cable ties and plastic cable tie mounts that I have found is that they're quite permanent. So once you route some cables through them and you stick it to the bottom of your desk, if you ever want to uncable manage them, you pretty much have to get a pair of scissors and pretty much cut every single cable tie there is, which can be quite annoying and also potentially dangerous as if you're like me, you might cut a cable in half in the process of trying to cut the plastic cable tie. So that's never fun and it does take a long time and it's just a hassle and cable managing things once everything is cable managed with plastic cable ties. So I have found a solution to that problem by using these. Now I'm not entirely sure what these are called but I found them on Amazon. There is a link to these in the description down below of course and these are very very useful. So these here are similar to the plastic cable ties and plastic cable tie mounts. However, they're much less permanent, which is very good. As you can stick them underneath your table, for example, you can open this up, route your cables through them, and then close it up. And that's pretty much it. The cables are running through this hole. It's all done. You don't have to worry about having to cut anything in the future. If you ever want to uncable manage whatever you've routed it through here, simply lift this latch back. The cable will pop out and that's it really. It's super simple, very useful. These are super, super cheap as well. I also picked up this three meter long plastic cable trunking kit from Amazon and I've cut it to size. So I did some measuring in the corner of my room over there. So I cut one to 60 centimeters in length and then the other one to 80 centimeters in length. So that leaves me with 1.4 meters spare of this plastic cable trunking kit, which is very nice. What I really like about these as well is that they come with some yellow adhesive on the back here, which makes it very easy to pretty much stick this onto any surface like a wall or a table, for example, which is very handy as you're not going to have to go out and buy some double-sided sticky pads to help stick these onto a wall as they already have adhesive on the back of them, which is very good. I also picked up this corner piece adapter for the cable management trunking kit as I am going to be routing these cables around a corner and this corner piece here is just going to help things look quite clean in general which is very good of course and of all that said I think that's pretty much it for all the items that we're going to be using in this video now with all that said let's actually begin cable managing the fire hazard slash disaster of cable management that is this corner of my room over here
we are finally done cable managing this corner of my room here. It took me around half an hour to get it all done. However, the end result looks very, very good. Here is how it looked like before. And as you can see, there are power strips on the floor. There are cables all over the floor. There's a cable running from my wall to the power strips and my PC. It's just chaotic, really. And here is how it looks like now. It looks much, much better. There are no power strips on the floor. You can't even see the power extensions or power strips anywhere. It is neatly cable managed. There are no cables running along the floor here to my wall as there were earlier. These cables are now hidden inside of a plastic cable chunking kit that I've run along the wall here. I have a corner piece here that connects all of it together. So all of these cables run from my wall through this plastic cable chunking kit. One cable exits out into my router and that's my ADSL cable to actually give me broadband. Another cable exits out into this big cable management box right here which houses a 10 port power extension that powers pretty much everything else other than my PC. That also connects to this small cable management box right here that houses a free socket power extension for my monitors. So pretty much everything here powers my entire setup and my PC is powered by a separate outlet from the wall. Uh, through here. So they are kind of separated as my PC draws much more power than pretty much everything else here. So I've pretty much separated these two connectors as I think I have a 5 meter cable running from the wall to my PC over in my setup there. Stuck onto the back of this small cable management box here, I have a rubber cable management clip holding a lightning cable as well as a micro USB cable allowing me to plug in my phone into this and pretty much charge it whenever I need to and I can also plug in a micro USB device such as a portable battery bank. So that's pretty much it for everything here. I have two chargers here, one for my phone and one for my portable battery bank. I have a cable management box, I have a bigger cable management box, I have my router as well as my Canon G7X Mark II battery charger. I have my cable trunking kit running along the wall here as well which help to hide a bunch of cables here. So in this video we cable manage the corner of my room there by adding some cable boxes and some plastic cable trunking kits and as for the rest of my setup I think it's pretty well cable managed already and there's not much room for improvement in general. So that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you have enjoyed watching it. I sure had a lot of fun making it and I hope to see you in another video soon. Goodbye. Like a captain.